Hello everyone, welcome to eSupport for Research. Today we will discuss about LGBL Journal Finder. To locate this particular web page, you can type journalfinder.lgbl.com. This uh, link I will keep it in the description section. And you might be knowing, you know, there are several journal finder which can help you to find out a potential journal for your research interest. Let's say you have already written an article or you are drafting your article. In that process, you have your title of that article is ready with you then the abstract is ready with you then the keyword and field of research so with that sort of information you can able to locate a potential journal but what is new about here in this LGBL journal finder you might be knowing LGBL is having 2700 plus journals and to find out a potential journal of your interest of the work that you are drafting or you are writing it is kind of you know uh, difficult blindly you you may submit to a journal which may not be a field of interest or uh, your work is out of scope so it might be rejected so here you can at least have a try find out the potential journal and you can submit and many of the time you might be wondering how you can able to find out how much time a journal might be taking every sort of time or what is the you know sort of acceptance rate of that particular journal so this is where you can have some information beforehand and uh, before submitting your work to that particular journal so let's start let's have a kind of a live demo so it will help you to understand how it works and based on your research you can do even uh, your research might be in the field of basic science uh, let's say from engineering or from you know other disciplines so this is where you can try and you can locate journal and you can you know plan for submission so let's try i have already kept uh, the details like uh, the title of the paper and then i have uh, the abstract with me so i'll keep the abstract here simply i will copy paste from this then the keyword here basically it will take from the drop down menu as it is somewhat related with the Parkinson disease detection and identification sort of thing and sort of feature extraction. So here I can see uh, select Parkinson, then feature extraction or let's say analysis will take SVM approach is used. So I'll let's say I'll take this one. Machine learning is used. So you can type those things will pop up then let's say we will select decision tree or decision algorithm so let's say we'll take this sort of you know five keyword and field of research here you can take three uh, different field of research based on your work so first one i will select as engineering i will keep it broad uh, as you can see here engineering is there then let's say i will select computer science and i will select um, let me select biological sciences fine then there is this option refine search this is what you know might be missing in other uh, search engine so you can you must try this particular you know refine search so here you see it is uh, in uh, uh, if you are not selecting anything so it is taking both open SS and subscription based journal so you can keep uh, both on or you can if you want to remove open SS journal and you uh, you do not want to publish there so you can uh, no need to select that one you can or you or now for this demonstration i'm keeping it all then the impact or uh, general impact so the it can be of site score which is basically come will come from the you know uh, as you might be knowing scoopers then impact factor that also you know from clarivet and um, certain you know indexing body like scie then uh, ssci all you know uh, indexing journal will get impact factor so if you want to set that one let's say a sort of range up to three up to four or up to five and a general impact factor up to two up to three five like that here you can do that even you can keep the minimum range also let's say uh, side score has to be two to six or impact factor has to be two to five within that range if a journal is matching then it will show in the result so for this search well, let me just randomly uh, you know put something here and review and publication time this is what uh, you know important wh while we are talking about getting sort of a decision or sort of information about uh, the review uh, you know uh, from the journal 
so this is about the time to the first uh, decision so as you can see time from the manuscript submission to the initial decision of the manuscript basically uh, this is the review decision of from the reviewer so let's say i want to keep it here up to 10 weeks or 5 weeks so that means you you are targeting a journal where you know the first decision should be coming within 5 week time period and here also publication time let's say if you are keeping 5 week so just assume that uh, that publication in that journal is happening within 10 weeks so you can see up to 10 weeks i'm just keeping and now you can click on find journals so if you click on that if anything will match within that range it will come because there is you know i have set this parameter so i will let me keep it all so now when i have set the site score to up to 10 now i have a few result eight journal that is matching to my search that is coming and if i will increase this time period maybe i will get few more result let me see yes 33 journals is matching here so here you can you know tune this one also impact factor i have set 2 to 8 and publication time up to 10 weeks so this also if i'll keep all then you'll you'll get 49 journal based on the input that you have provided the title of the paper the abstract and the keyword and the, you know research area so now let's say um, it is fine for me i'm not uh, doing sort of filtering i'm okay with the time period or for people those who want uh, to publish in quick uh, time period so they can set here you know this time they can do here they can make the changes here so let me do that one so now 40 journals you see up to 13 weeks that is not bad so with that let's see this 40 journal what they are showing so this is a you know kind of a, a you can say a window where uh, you can have different journal at one place and all journal is showing the site score impact factor then the acceptance rate time to first decision and time to publication if let's say the journal is not indexed in scopus or in scie you know journal index so that may not be available that impact factor or the site score may not be available but the acceptance rate time to first decision the other you know parameter that you, you can you are seeing over here that might be available so this is you know a uh, very important uh, to compare different journal and another thing is the text match score here as you can see over here that is also vital because based on your input it is sort of giving you it is uh, you know best match that is being sorted you can see here if you want to change here like based on the journal name or impact factor let's say you want to submit to a journal where the acceptance rate is high so i can sort it in that manner so if you do that so you can see in biomedical signal process and control the acceptance rate is a bit high 34 percent then in general of biomechanics it is 34 percent like that it is being now arranged so it is up to you to now decide and to you know submit in that journal what more you can see again you have to verify whether the text may score is high or not it is you know sort of okay top uh, matching uh, keyword is parkinson the keyword that you have provided and what other information it will give if you click on this particular you know arrow it will give you the subject area recent article that been published there without visiting that website also you can have a glance over here and the general scope you can have the detail here then the benefit to the journal it can provide for you know open access uh, also platform also and other sort of information to read more or to you know have more information you can click on journal website if you click on that it will take you to the journal website as you can see over here so you know you, you can have other sort of information like um, the guide for authors or the you know template or other things so based on that you can plan and submit here so this is what a journal finder elsewhere journal finder and uh, um, it is kind of giving you information in uh, in a, in a handy manner kind of a thing where you have uh, information like time to first decision time for publication which might be missing in other search engine so uh, you can explore this particular you know um, website or the search engine and you can think for or if you're planning to submit to elsewhere journal so this is one thing which uh, you need to explore first and then you should uh, plan 
to submit your work so thank you for watching this particular video please do like and share and uh, please comment if you have sort of any sort of doubt or any sort of queries uh, please stay tuned and thank you again for watching Thank you.